Hello, we're here with Sita, FMA fan arts and nursing student. Sita, will you tell us a little bit of your background? Well, I'm Sita, <laughs> everyone knows. Uh, well, I've been uh, a fan artist for about seven years, and I'm a nursing student at BCIT right now. How have you maintained your artistic side while you're at school? Well, when I'm free, I like to look at uh, online tutorials. Like, there are so many awesome online tutorials that people have posted online that teach you how to make land, fine art, uh, line, I mean, sorry, line art, um, how to color, how to shade, and whatnot. So, I look at those to help myself improve, and when I've free time I just draw whatever that's in my mind and even for school projects like when you're making a PowerPoint presentation that like it can be pretty dry and boring so I try to draw a simple comic strip or just like simple pictures on there just to make my PowerPoint presentations more interesting. So yeah. Sita, how long have you been drawing? I started when I was about in grade 12. Right? Do you remember the first thing you drew? Yep. Um, well, I'm not completely sure if it was the very first thing I drew, but um, it was a Yu-Gi-Oh! comic strip that I drew for Bao 12 on the reproductive system. So the comic strip is pretty much on the process of fertilization featuring Yami and Yugi. <laughs> uh, what was the first piece of art you sold? First piece of art I sold would be at an artist alley three years ago. Um, it would either be a Full Metal Alchemist print or the Full Metal Alchemist school calendar. Then. How do you normally go about creating your work? Well, um, I didn't really have a straight process of creating my work. Um, just whenever I see something funny or when an uh, inspiration or AKA plot bunny hit my head, then I, then I draw it out pretty much. Uh, who inspired you to draw? Uh, <laughs> It would be my best friend Sarah, who I've known since high school. So I'm pretty sure she has drawn for like more than ten years, and I enjoyed watching her draw in class. And I give her all these weird ideas to draw, and she draw all these awesome and cute pictures for my birthday. So eventually, I figured that I really want to draw cute pictures like she did. So I start drawing. I asked her to teach me how to CG and how to draw for mouse and such. What do you intend to sell at Minikami? Well, I will be having a Full Metal Alchemist 2013 calendar, and some paper charms, a USB hub, a mouse pad, a prints, and other items. Like I haven't finalized everything yet, but that's what I have so far. When do you start with this? When do you start making these projects? Um, well, I usually start when summer hits because I don't want to get too distracted on my schoolwork. So when summer starts, then I start prepping for the summer cons pretty much. So what are your hobbies? Well, well clearly drawing would be one of them. So, and aside from that, I love reading manga, I love watching anime, and I love listening to J-pop and I love singing, and I love playing video games too. Do you cosplay? Yes, I do. This is actually the very first piece of uh, fan, I mean, costume I've made, which is pretty simple, else lawn cloth, but hey, I still made something. <laughs> What cosplay do you want to see the most at Minikami? Uh, I want to see big prof cosplay, people like people with big wines or swords and stuff like that. I thought those are really cool. Do you cosplay people you draw? Yep, so other than the Elves Blonde Cloth that I just showed you, uh, some people might remember that for the past few years I've cosplayed as Edward Elric. So, yep. Are you a gamer? Yeah, I like to play Harvest Moon and Pokemon and Trauma Center and sometimes anime games. Well, for Harvest Moon, I like it because you build your own farm. So in that sense, it is pretty artistic and uh, you have your freedom to make your farm in whatever way you want. As for Pokemon, you can choose the Pokemon that you like and make your own team. So you have a lot of freedom and I like leveling up games. And for Trauma Center, I guess I just like the thrill in it. Where do you think your art will lead you? Well, I think being creative is really important in many aspects of life. So, in, for example, when you're working, there are times that things come up and you have to improvise. So, be, being able to, like creativity is a big part of being able to improvise. So, I think drawing is just helps my, train my brain too. Thank you, Sita, for talking with, with us today. Yeah. You can meet Sita and six other artists at Minicomic July 7th. 2012. We'll see you all there. Bye! Bye, -bye. <laughs>